Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Reebuck, and I am responsible for religious education here at St. Joseph Catholic Church. I'm so happy that we can be together once again for Children's Liturgy of the Word. This week is the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we will begin with a reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. The preacher said, useless, useless, everything is useless. For example, there are people who have worked hard and used all their knowledge and all their skill, but they don't enjoy the results of what they have worked for. Someone else enjoys them instead. That's useless and unjust. What good does all that hard work do for a person? People spend their days doing so much hard work and at night they can't sleep. That too is useless. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, boys and girls, we will now sing our responsorial psalm and our gospel acclamation. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Teach us to number our days of right, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long have pity on your servants. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. If today you hear his voice, Harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day, a man said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to give me half of what belonged to our father before he died. But Jesus said, Why should I be the one to settle an argument about money between you and your brother? Then he said to the people, Be careful about being selfish and greedy. Having a lot of money isn't what makes you important, and being rich won't save your life. Then Jesus told this story. There was a very rich man who had a farm that produced good crops. He grew so much food that soon he didn't have enough space to store it all. So he said to himself, I know what I will do. I will tear down all my barns and build bigger ones. Then I can put everything I have in them. And I will say to myself, I have everything I need for years and years. Now I can take it easy. I can eat and drink and do whatever I want. But God said to this man, You are so foolish. Tonight you will die. And so what will happen to all the things you saved for yourself? Who will get them? Then Jesus said, This is the way it is with people who are selfish and keep things for themselves, but do not care about God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, I want to begin today by telling you a story about a brother and sister named Jessica and William. One day, Jessica and William came home from school and wanted a snack. Their mother had baked a pie earlier in the week, and there was just enough left for each of them to have one slice. Let's have a piece of pie, suggested William. I'll get the pie, and you get us each a glass of milk, he said to his sister. However, when William sliced the remaining pie into two pieces, one slice was much larger than the other one. Jessica finished pouring each of them a glass of milk and sat down at the table. William then brought the pie over, placed the small slice in front of his sister, and kept the large slice for himself. Look what you did, exclaimed Jessica. You gave me the small slice of pie and kept the big slice for yourself. Well, what would you have done, William asked. If I were serving the pie, said Jessica, I would have given you the bigger slice and kept the smaller slice for myself. Well, what are you complaining about then? That's exactly what I did, William said. Both William and Jessica laughed together and then began to eat their pie. Boys and girls, we might laugh at that story, but selfishness and greed are both very serious subjects. Every day we see people who not only want the biggest slice of the pie for themselves, they want the entire pie. In today's gospel reading, Jesus tells us a parable about a man who is very much like that. The man in this parable is very rich. He owns a large fertile farm that produces very good crops. In fact, his farm produces so much food that he does not have enough space to store all of it. Now, boys and girls, what do you think the man should have done? 
Do you think that he should have shared some of what he had with those who were not as fortunate to have as much as he did? Do you think that is what this man did? No, he did not. Rather, he says, I know what I'll do. I will tear down all my barns and build bigger ones. Then I can put everything I have in them and I will say to myself, I have everything I need for years and years. Now I can take it easy. I can eat and drink and do whatever I want. However, Jesus then tells us that God says to this man, you are so foolish. Tonight you will die. And so what will happen to all the things you saved for yourself? Who will get them? You see, boys and girls, God is good and he has given most of us more than we need. The question is, what will you do with what God has given to you? Will you share it with those who do not have as much as you? Or will you greedily keep it all for yourself? Remember the warning that Jesus gives to the listeners at the end of this parable. He says, this is the way it is with people who are selfish and keep things for themselves but do not care about God. Boys and girls, when we fail to think about the needs of others, we call that a sin of omission. Every Sunday during Mass, we ask God for forgiveness for what we have done and for what we have failed to do. We call this prayer the Confidior. Today, let us end by praying this prayer together. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Amen. All right, boys and girls, as we do every week, we will now have the renewal of our baptismal promises. So I invite you to stand and you'll respond with the words, I do, after I ask you these questions. Dear children, through his suffering, death, and resurrection, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so let us now renew the promises of holy baptism in which we renounce Satan and his works, and promise to serve God and the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no power over you? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, in life everlasting. I do. God, the Almighty Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven all of our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you very much for joining us today. I hope that you and your families are able to attend the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass together this weekend, and that all of you have a blessed Sunday. Additionally, I want to inform all of you that beginning Sunday, September 11th, Children's Liturgy of the Word will return to an in-person setting during the 9.45 a.m. Mass. I look forward to seeing you here next week 
and then in person once again, the second Sunday of September. Have a blessed week.